What's up people, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So for today, I'm gonna teach you how to set your knobs. And to put it more eloquently, I'm gonna teach you proper game structure to eliminate clipping and distortion while playing music as a mobile disc jockey. Hmm. But before I start, if you could do me a huge favor, please hit that like button down there. It'll help my algorithm so more people could see this video. If you don't subscribe, make sure you subscribe. I got a ton of stuff on the way. But anyway, let's get into these knobs. So I'm gonna explain stuff in layman's terms. I don't know all the technical terms, to be honest with you, and it'll be easier to understand if I just explain it to you like a human being. I'm not like a technical guy, just so you know. So, so this is a super important thing, something a lot of DJs get wrong. One of my favorite DJs and mentor, DJ Sat1 said it best, red doesn't mean turbo. You don't wanna mix in the red. It distorts your music, you're gonna sound like shit. I don't care if you're the best DJ in the world, you're throwing down the best set of your life. If you're in the red, you're distorting, you sound like shit. You sound like shit, it doesn't matter. It's definitely an easy way to shoot yourself in the foot. But fear not people, I'm gonna show you how to set your knobs right now. You'll never go in the red again. You're gonna sound crystal clear and life is gonna be grand. So come over here to my mixer, let's have some fun. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure all your volumes are down, right? So your faders are down, your gains here are down, and your master is all the way down. Next, load up a song on whichever deck, and make sure it's a song that like has a lot of, you know, bass, it's not like, a, like an older song, like a full sounding song, and put it to the part of the song where it's like bumping, like the loudest part of the song, like You right? Put it at that part. Then, start playing the song. So we got the song playing over here. The first thing you wanna do is bring your gains up. So bring your gains up until the little LEDs go all the way right to, so yellow's there, so we wanna go right there, right before yellow, right at the green there, right? Bang, gain is set. Next, you wanna put your volume all the way up, okay? Then the final step is you wanna take your master volume and you wanna bring your master volume all the way up until it matches your gain. So we're nice and even here. Doing that, now you are as loud as you wanna go without distorting, right? You're like right there. Um, when you start to mix and stuff, there's two ways to adjust your volume. You can adjust your volume by the fader, right? So like you, you maxed it out, you're blasting right now, but like you might wanna just like keep it here and slowly bring it up. For me personally, these volumes get in the way and I'm always scared I'm gonna poof and then blast everybody, right? So I actually keep my volumes all the way up and I adjust my gains. So I keep my gains like right here, always monitoring the LEDs to make sure I don't go over. When it comes to your actual speaker, you wanna set that to zero, so it's good. there's gonna be a line there. If you have a digital display, just go to zero dB, or there'll be a line uh, there that'll show you where zero dB is. That way, you're good, and then you adjust the rest of the volume from here, and that's it. And I know you're thinking, is yellow good at all? You can go in the yellow a little bit, right? So if you wanna bump it up a little more and get in the yellow up here, you'll be all right, like right here. But that would be really the max you wanna go. When it goes red, you're definitely distorting no matter what, so you do not wanna go to red under any circumstance, and I honestly wouldn't go too far in the yellow. Some songs will go in the yellow and some won't, you know, because every song is recorded differently and everything else, so you're gonna get variations with that, and you basically adjust your gain according to that, and your DJ program also has an auto gain, whether you use Virtual DJ or Serato or Tractor, it has auto gain as well, so it should adjust your gain automatically to kind of match it pretty well, but sometimes you might have to adjust. And just remember, first you turn your speaker on, turn that to zero dB, then you adjust your gain, then you adjust your volume, then you adjust your master. Bam, sounding great, ready to knock the walls down and play all the hot fire. So that's it people, easy peasy, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments, I'll get right back to you, and I'll see you guys next video.